Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Anomaly1975. I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on um, video plugins for OBS so that you may use video sources or um, internet-based browser sources from, for your scenes in OBS when you're building up a Twitch channel. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to rarlab.com. Um, I've included all the links for this in the description down below, so by all means, click on them. Um, and when you go to rarlab.com, it should navigate to this site here. I'm going to blow it up just a little bit so you can see a little better, if I can get my browser to cooperate. So depending on your operating system, um, you're going to choose one of these bits of software, and um, this program is called WinRAR. Its purpose is to unzip zipped files, um, people zip files so that they can put them up online or send them over email, and a uh, zip file is just a small version of the file, right? It, it's just the basic framework, and it uses C++ to fill in all the blanks. Um, if you look here in the blue, you'll have a 32-bit version for Windows 32-bit, a 64-bit version for Windows 64-bit, um, one for Linux distributions, 32 and 64, um, one for Mac OS, if you're using a Mac. I'm using um, Windows 64-bit, uh, 8.1. So I'm going to click on this link right here. It's going to start downloading and... There it is right there. Now to open this, all I have to do is left mouse click it twice. Click yes. Um, the screen probably went black for a second, but it just asked me, do you want to install this? And I clicked yes. So you read the disclaimer. It's just like any other disclaimer. Um, don't sell stuff. Don't copy the program and call it your own. Stuff like that. I'm going to click install. It's going to install. And this is all the types of file associations that it can open. You, you're going to want to make sure that the uh, zip, the uh, check mark next to zip is checked off. And you're going to click OK because you're going to need to unzip zipped files. Um, this is basically, it's a freeware program. It says it's a trial version and in 40 days it'll prompt you to uh, if you want to buy a version of it you can pay for the paid version it offers more features but not much more um, so there's the program right there WinRAR um, you don't need to do anything else I'm just gonna close out this window that's it for WinRAR we now have the ability to zip and unzip files um, I'm going to go to the OBS uh, video source plugin page uh, that is also included in my description. You're going to come to this page right here. And if you scroll down a bit, you don't even have to scroll down. I'm just going to make this a little bigger and then scroll down. You have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. Now, I'm going to click on the 64-bit version to download it. And as you see, it's downloading down here. It's going to take a few more seconds. And it's done. That's it. When I left my mouse click on this, WinRAR automatically kicks in to unpack the file. <clears throat> if you see here, it has a video source plugin and the video source DLL. That's the driver file. This is what tells the software that um, you're using a video source object. It explains to the software program what this is and how to use it. So you're going to need both these two files, the video source plugin folder and the video source plugin wrapper DLL. Um, then you are going to want to navigate to your OBS plugin folder. To do that, you go to the bottom left hand corner. You're going to click on File Explorer and then navigate to the uh, plugin folder. I'm going to choose Windows C here by left mouse clicking. I'm going to scroll down a little bit over here, go down to Program Files, click on Program Files. Not the x86 version, just the regular version. 
And then once that program files folder is open, you're going to want to scroll down to OBS. See that right there, OBS? Clicking and open. You're going to see three folder files on top. The one you want is plugins. Click on that. And from there, all you have to do is move these files over here. You do that by click and drag, simple click and drag. Left mouse click on video source, bring it over, come to an empty part of the screen because you don't want to drop it in a folder, and let go. And I'm going to replace the files in that destination because that's basically what I have. I, I already installed it once, so I'm just reinstalling it basically. Um, skip. Continue. I don't know. Cancel. You shouldn't get that message because if you don't already have it installed, it won't be a problem. Then you're going to need this file over there the video source plugin. You're going to drag it from over here, left mouse click it, and let it go over here. It's going to copy itself. You're not going to get this replace the file in the destination. Once again, I already have it installed. Um, continue. Okay, I don't have uh, access to this folder apparently. Got to change that in my window settings. But uh, you probably, you will have access to this. It's a Windows thing. Um, alternatively, if I had navigated through, let's say I went to Windows, the Windows C, and I don't mean to confuse you, but it's just how I do. Windows C, and then I went to uh, Users. And then went to uh, Program Files. Do, 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 Okay, I'm just screwing myself up. <laughs> well, at any rate, that is how you should have installed the uh, video source files. It, it's really simple. Don't don't get scared. And now, when you open uh, OBS in your settings, well, actually not in your settings, in your sources, if I want to add a video source, I would scroll down the video. This is a new option in your uh, OBS. You click on that and it there it is do 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 I'll show you actually how that works in a second actually I should show you right now don't mind me I derp that's what I do so I'm gonna add a video source using my new plugin I'm just gonna go for the uh, default settings except in the video window settings and change the size to 1280 by 720. 720. And I'm going to add a video source. So I'm going to find a video source first. I have some set aside in here. Do, 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 do. And it would be underneath my videos. Don't mind me. As I said before, I derp. So let's click on this. Now, I'm going to right click my video file. Notice that uh, my video file is placed in its own separate folder. Make sure you create a new folder by clicking uh, on any empty part of the screen, creating new, going down to new, and scrolling up to folder. And that's how you make a new folder. I'm going to name this background, background, or for simplicity's sake, BG, BG1. Scroll up here. Um, so wherever you have your video file, place it in the folder that you just made. I just cut that there, and BG1. I'm going to paste it right here by right opening up the folder, right mouse clicking on the open plane and left mouse clicking the paste button. 
Now, if you look at the viruses, this PC in the videos folder is the video BG1. There it is. So, ooh, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to right, right mouse click this, go down to properties. I'm going to highlight the location because that's what you're going to want to put into OBS. I'm going to copy that, close out these windows, and I'm going to paste it where it says enter a file path or URL pointing to a video folder. So right there, there's my video. I'm going to add it to the playlist. And there's the playlist editor. Now that I see that it's in the playlist, I can click OK. And that's the video that was in there. Now, you can use this as a background or whatever. Let me just make this a little bigger so you can see. So this background is a playing background in the back. <laughs> playing background in the background. That doesn't make any sense. But um, yeah. It's in a layer, so you can treat it as any other layer. I can edit the scene. I can make it bigger, smaller. I can remove it around. And what you want to think of when you see each of these scenes is each of these scenes is like a layer of paper stacked on top of each other, right? I can move any single one of them. I can have this in the background. I can have this in the front ground. If you want the video in the background, so let me... Go right mouse click on that, go to order. I'm going to move down, and that brings it down one layer. Right? So when people see your stream, they're going to see this is your desktop, and this is what's behind your desktop. This is going to be useful later when you create overlays for things like Twitch and whatnot. I'm going to unclick the video source, bring this back up, and uh, yeah, we're back to my monitor. Let me fit this in a little bit better. All right. For the CLR, CLR browser, I'm going to click on CLR browsing, and I had this magnified because I was practicing this, this earlier. You're going to want to go to, and I did mention I derp, right? If you can't find it, which should be impossible, just type a CLR, CLR browser OBS into your search bar. The first uh, link that pops up, click on that. It'll bring you to this screen right here in open broadcast software browser plugins. Um, once again, if you see here, you're given the option of choosing the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. I'm choosing the 64-bit version. It's going to download as a zip file. You can see it downloading down here. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. Now that it's done downloading, loading, I'm going to left mouse click it. WinRAR is going to automatically open it back up. Once again, I'm going to navigate by going to my File Explorer tab, clicking on Windows C, clicking on OBS, finding and clicking the OBS file. Whoops, first the program files. Yep. And then uh, OBS. That's what I'm looking for. And then plugins. So if you look at the top line here, it was uh, first C, then program files, then OBS, then plugins. And here is my plugins for OBS file. It's already extracted right here. So all you're going to want to do is left mouse click, click this, drag it over, drop it on an empty space, and it should show up right there, just as is. I've already installed it, so it's already done. This is the uh, driver file for it. You're going to want to left mouse, mouse click this, drag it over, drop it, and when you drop it, you should see this CLR host plugin dot DLL show up in your plugins folder. And that's it. It's installed. You don't have to run an installation program. You've just manually installed the file. That's how that works. 
every single install program you uh, run basically does exactly what you just did. All right, I'm going to close WinRAR because that's all I needed from WinRAR. And to show you uh, how the CLRR browser plugin works, I'm going to add a net source. When you right mouse click on the sources field, you'll come up with the option for, to add. I'm going to add a CLR browser source to my scene. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to change the width and height on this to 1280 by 720. And uh, you could basically, once I click OK, oh, I already had uh, one defined in there. I'm going to click Properties. It's going to ask you to put in a URL right there. So this URL, what it, whatever you type in here is what it navigates to. If you wanted to go to, uh, let's go to a video source right now that I have. Don't mind me, I'm just finding a video source. Yeah, this is uh, Stream Pro. And this is basically the reason why you want to use this CLR browser plugin. It will make your life easier, trust me on this. I'm just going to copy this URL address, copy that, and then paste it into the uh, address bar down here where it says URL. Pasting that, clicking OK. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I didn't know I changed that. Wow, that's trippy. Do, 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 do. Intros. Hmm. Don't mind me, it just appears I deleted something I shouldn't have deleted. Oh, this is great. So, um, yeah, that's how you use that. And in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up a overlay with with streampro.io, which is the entire using reason for using the CL, CLR browser plugin. Um, thank you so much. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you out. I am signing off in three, two, one.